Manchester United at home to Tottenham Hotspur. Second biggest game of the season for Manchester United after that Liverpool game. That was away from home. This one's at home. So Manchester United have got to try and be on the front foot more in this game than against Liverpool in that one. We've got back to winning ways in the League Cup away at Swansea City and we've since progressed to play away at Bristol City so that is a positive for Manchester United getting back to winning ways, getting another quarter-final tie in the League Cup so hopefully that can galvanise some of the players. There was a lot of changes to that lineup, but I'm expecting changes again for this one for Manchester United to hopefully get back to gaining three points in the Premier League because this really is pitiful for Manchester United to get three points in this one. A defeat or a draw will really hinder Manchester United's chances of winning the Premier League this season. Because if Manchester City win, the gap is just getting bigger and bigger. And we can't really afford to let it get any bigger for when we play Manchester City. I think it's in December sometime. So how, how, the hell, how are we going to line up in order to beat Tottenham Hotspur? I mean, they've had that really good win against Liverpool. That was at home for them, but that was a fantastic win. Since then, they've lost in the League Cup to West Ham, but I don't think they would seem too bothered about that, that competition. But obviously, them results in the League Cup have nothing bearing on this game. So, obviously, Tottenham are going to change a number of players for this game as well. But Manchester United are going to obviously put David Hare back in goal. Then, in the defence, Valencia will most likely be at right back if we're playing a back four. There's still question marks over the left-back position. He's probably going to go with Ashley Young. But over the course of the season, Ashley Young is going to get found out playing at left-back, unfortunately. And Manchester United really do need to sort that left-back position out. I believe that Jose Mourinho is going to now, at some point, go out and buy a better left-back because he didn't even barely give Luke Shaw any minutes in that game against Swansea City. So it does look like his days at Manchester United are numbered. It will probably be Phil Jones and Eric Bay at the back. Eric Bay looks like he's back from injury, which is brilliant news for Manchester United. Been, been a few games out and Manchester United haven't looked quite as solid at the back without that partnership. Now, midfield is the problem because there's rumours that And Herrera is an injury doubt, which is a massive blow considering we've got Fellaini and Pogba still out. Now, Pogba looks like he's almost ready to return and there's rumours that he could potentially be, be back for that Chelsea game and it's up to Jose Mourinho whether he risks him for that game now. He won't risk him for this one, I don't think. I reckon he will risk And Herrera, though. And he will, put, will definitely partner Matic in midfield. We're, we're a bit thin on the ground there. Without Pogba, it's just not good enough, that midfield at all. Which is a real worry for Manchester United. But the ever-presence, Matic has been fantastic for Manchester United. It's just been that other, other position. Now, in the forward line, you're definitely going to see Mkhitaryan come back in. He will probably be playing in the number 10 role. Then it will be probably Rashford and Juan Mata and Romelu Lukaku. Now, that's what I would think the team's going to be if Rashford is fit enough to play the game, that is. There is rumours that he, as well as And Herrera, are doubts for this game. Now, that will be a massive blow if either of them two players can't participate, even from the start of none or maybe Rashford from the bench if he's got a slight niggle. Now, Harry Kane is also apparently an injury doubt for this game, but there's no doubt in my mind I believe that he's going to play it's probably mind games. He was kind of holding his hamstring in that last game against Liverpool. And I would love him to not play in this game. I would never want a player to be injured. But I would be happy if he, if he can't participate in the actual game. Because he's, he's been on absolute fire this season. Scoring so many goals for Tottenham. And he's an, he's an absolute fantastic striker for them. So he's going to be the main danger for Manchester United. Also Son is a very good player for Tottenham. Scored in that game against Liverpool and hit the bar as well. So he's, he's a real danger man, scored quite a lot of goals last season. Also, Deli Ali scored a de decent amount of goals last season, scored in the week in their defeat to West Ham. So he's another threat. That's three goal-scoring threats they've got there. And they've got Christian Eriksen as well, who is a very, very good player, create goals and score a few himself. So that is four players that we've really got to watch out for. They've obviously got other players. Harry Winks has been playing quite well. Recently, they've got obviously a decent defence, so they've got a lot of players in their team. And they're a very good team, Tottenham Hotspur. So this is going to be a tough game for Manchester United, and I think we're probably going to come up short here and probably going to draw this game. So I'm going to go for Manchester United. I feel it's going to be a 1-1 draw. Unfortunately, that won't really be good enough for Manchester United. We've really got to get the win in this game. Can't really afford to draw it, but if it is a draw, it is a draw. 
it is probably be it is better than losing, but we don't we really got to be winning these sort of games at home against our rivals and at least picking up a point away from home. But as I say, Tottenham have been in fantastic form, so we will just have to wait and see. But it will be a kick in the bollocks if we don't get the three points because you'll start looking at the table. If, if as I said before, if Manchester City beat West Brom, then the gap starts to open and open, and we just do not want it to get any any bigger. But we've got hope that Manchester United can get the three points then somehow go to Chelsea and get a positive result and hopefully a win there and just kick on and hope the Manchester City drop some points along the way. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the game. How do you see it going? Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.